Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to basically speed up your PC to like it's never been before. So basically, it, it won't be slow anymore, it'll be running perfectly normal, fast, quick, and basically a lot smoother than what it is running now. If Obviously, if you're watching this video, your laptop's really slow. So let's get straight into it. First of all, you want to go down to the start button. That's the first step. You want to right click on computer and you want to click properties. You want to wait for the properties tab to op open up. As you can see, my computer is running slow, but that is why I'm obviously bringing this out. Look. So basically, you want to click on advanced system settings. You want to go to advanced, and you want to click on settings again. And then in here, you want to click on adjust for best performance. But basically, if you just click that and then hit apply and OK, your laptop's going to look like it's on Windows XP. It'll run a lot faster. But basically it will look really bad so the visual effects will be gone and it will just look really crappy. So what you want to do is, you want to go down, you want to click on use visual styles on windows and buttons. And you want to click on smooth edges of screen fonts and then you want to hit apply. Wait for it to finish. Your screen will go black for about 10-15 seconds. Then when this when it's done, it'll come up with this, and you just want to click OK, click OK again, exit off of this, and your computer should be a lot faster already. And then what you want to do is, is you go down to your um, battery, you want to click on it, you want to click more power options. This is the next step. Once this loads up, you want the be a drop down button down here or yours might be on the top like mine is and you want to just click high performance and then you just want to exit that off now the next step is going to speed up your laptop so when you turn on your laptop it will open up and it will start a lot quicker than what it usually does so when you go to your start button in the start tab you want to type in msconfig I'll leave all the things you've got to type in and stuff in the description below if you do find this video helpful in any way, please like and comment, and you can also subscribe for more daily uploads. So once you've clicked on MS Config, this box will open up System Configuration. You want to go to Start Up. Basically, what you want to do in here, there might be a load of, load of stuff you do not even need. All you want to do is untick them. As you can see, I've only got the ones ticked that I actually need. So like Blue Stacks is what I use to play like games on on my laptop. But I don't need that to open up as soon as my laptop starts. I don't need that to happen. That's going to slow your computer down like mad. So you want to click untick them all that you'd want to start. And you want to click apply and then OK. And then also you want to go to your tools. Now you want to change user account control settings. So basically it will just make your laptop a lot quicker as well. You want to click on that. And you want to click on launch. And here, you want to click on never notify. You just want to turn it. Yours will be up here. You want to turn it to never notify. And you want to click OK. In the services, you want to click hide all Microsoft services. As you can see, I've got all mine unticked. That is what you want to do. Then you want to click apply and OK. And the box will come up asking you to restart. You can restart it now or you can restart it later. I'd probably restart it later so you can watch all this video and learn more tips. Now what you want to do is, you want to go to your start button. You want to type in run. You want to click run. You want to type in percentage. Temp. Percentage. You want to click OK. When all this is loaded up, you want to click on that. You want to click Control A. I'm going to click shift delete. What this does, it will permanently delete all your files. Sometimes it will only send them to the recycle bin. And then the ones you cannot delete, click do this for all current items and click skip. And then do this for all current items, skip. Once that's done, you want to exit this off. Now the last tip I'm going to give you, and it's probably the longest one to do, down here you want to type in disk. I'm going to type in disk clean up. Once you're on this, select the drive that you use and click OK. 
what this will do is basically free up some memory and just clean anything that's in that drive. I'm not going to do it because it can take up to about 5 to 10 minutes and for to shorten the video down, I'm just not going to do it. But please, honestly, do it. It's 100% legit. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.